What's going on, everybody? Lockout Men back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. And I'm here with a uh, sad, sad, truly, truly sad story. And the messed up thing about the camera culture right now. The camera culture. Let's let's talk about that. People are so in in what's what's the word I'm looking for? Inebriated, I guess. I don't know. But people are so quick to just break out their cameras and record and try to com- uh you know commentate on the situation. You first thing first. Let's let's listen to what I'm talking about. Man is in jail, accused of running over a woman and beating her to death with a metal pole. The police say the woman had been walking along 9700 block of Bissonette early yesterday morning. And Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is live tonight with the latest on this case. Matthew. Well, Jonathan, this is just tragic. There's actually video of what happened posted on Facebook. We must warn you, this video is disturbing. New disturbing video posted to Facebook of a vicious attack on Bissonette. A man seen standing outside a crashed car, brutally beating a woman to death with a metal pole. Police identifying the woman killed as 26-year-old Jasmine James. 22-year-old Shadozi Amadi arrested Friday, charged with murder. Witnesses tell HPD Jasmine had been walking along the sidewalk of Bissonette early Thursday morning when Shadozi in a white car intentionally ran her over. A witness recording as Shadozi then strikes Jasmine's head several times. A memorial of flowers, candles, and stuffed animals now sits at the street corner. So police have arrested a Houston man who prosecutors say intentionally drove his car into a woman walking down the sidewalk and then proceeded to beat her with a metal pipe early Thursday last week. Paramedics rushed to the woman identified by Houston police as 26-year-old Jasmine James to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead. Shadozi, Shadozi? Uh, whatever his name is, it really don't really don't mean anything. But so Josie Armadi, we're just going to go by his last name. Armadi, 22, is accused of running James down around 2 a.m. in the 9, 9700 block of Bassinet. In doing so, he flipped his sedan after crashing it into a utility pole. Video of the collisions aftermath recorded by witnesses showed in the video, which captured the latter half of the attack, which shows a man identified as Armadi standing over Jasmine's body, which laid among the damaged fence. As other drivers maneuvered around the flip sedan, a man appeared to be holding a metal pipe as a makeshift weapon to repeatedly beat the injured woman. An autopsy performed Friday at the Harris County Institute determined which aspect of the attack of the attack that led to her death. Houston detectives did not say what preceded the violence. In a press release, police said responding officers spotted Armadi standing over James. He confessed to officers that he beated her to death. Of course, Armadi was arrested and charged with murder. A magistrate has set his bail to $2 million at the request of the Harris County District Attorney. The repeated violent nature of this incident indicates that the defendant posed an immediate threat to the community and the public safety everywhere if released. So that's the story. Let's see what this video is all about. Bro, this ran the over, dog. I'm sitting here like, man, I'm trying to go down. This is tripping, y'all. And the bitch, bro. Looks like he's in the spirit. 
What the fuck? This nigga, yeah, this nigga, look at him, look at him. All right, enough of that shit. Let's let enough of that shit, bro, bro. The fuck you didn't get out of the fucking car to help this lady, man. You see this dude ran this chick over, got out of the car, ran over there and and proceeded to bash her head in while you and every other car that's going past is recording the shit. What the fuck wrong with us today, man? And you over here calling this young lady all sorts of hoes and is and all like that, dude. You don't even know her. But yet you proceeded to turn around and post up while this dude is beating the living life out of this female, my G. Come on, man. I mean, you know, from back in the day, I was told not to be in the people's business and all like that. Domestic violence, don't get involved. I get that, but come on, man. Somebody got to get involved. This young lady probably will be alive today if somebody just got involved. That's the problem what I have with the camera culture. The camera culture. Y'all so quick to get the video and post it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. But yeah, y'all don't want to get out and help the young lady. Maybe if a couple of you guys would have ganged up on this dude to pull him off of her, maybe she would have had a chance. Maybe she would have had a chance of life. But no, nah, you want to turn around. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He he killed him. Why you didn't get out and do something, bruh? You and a couple of other people, instead of everybody just rolling around, you ain't even bothered to call the police, my G. You so busy on the camera trying to commentate what happened. Y'all camera cultures kill me. But I guess y'all would turn around and say, yo, lockout, would you would have did? Damn right I would have did something. I would have at least tried. I keep a can of mace on me all the time. I would at least ran over there. At least try to try try to give the the the, the young lady an ounce of life, something to fight for. But no, you guys, along with everybody else in this video that's going past, is you got the camera out watching this dude beat the living life out of this female, man. Sad. Witnesses. These ain't no witnesses. These is cowards, in my opinion. I mean, if you see some, if, if you see something as tragic as that, man, you gotta at least get out and 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 try try something. I mean, I understand that you're scared and everything. I get it. I get it. But instead of recording the shit and trying to be a commentator on what's going on, why not just call the police? Maybe somebody should have just ran up on the dude, hit him. Sad situation for this young lady, Jasmine James from Houston. My condolences goes out to her family. I got family that stays down in Houston, man, or stays down in Texas. And I, I, I just want to make sure she's all right. She's a female. We, we don't even know what's the cause of this. Maybe we'll cause this man to snap. Maybe he knew her. Maybe he didn't know her. But to, 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 to run this young lady off the road, flip his van in the midst of it, get out of his van and grab a metal pipe to proceed to beat the living life out of this young lady yeah something wrong with this dude but see you guys of today 
Y'all some simps. Period. Y'all can't take rejections. Female says no. Y'all still going to try and proceed to, to, to force her to do something. Y'all just can't take rejections well. But um, the camera culture, you know, that I that that I truly have a problem with. I, I just feel that at least maybe a handful of y'all that was recording, trying to get the trying to get the video so y'all could get the likes, the views, and the and the comments and all like that. I just kind of wish that you guys would at least a handful of you guys would have got out and 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 probably could have saved this young lady's life. See, that's what that's what some of us truck drivers do. Shout out to the truck drivers that would get out and 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 try to do something, try to help. I just want you guys to know that uh, if I see something and if if I can help, I'm going to do something. I am for real. All right. All right. That's that's it. That's it, man. I, I, I'm i just speechless. Speechless and just flabbergasted at, 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 at this situation right now, man. So um, if you guys want to know more about this uh, situation, if y'all want to see the video, it is on Facebook. Unfortunately, I can't post it here on YouTube because, of course, YouTube will shut me down. But uh, you guys can go on Facebook, you know, Try to find it. Rest in peace to this young lady. And I and they over here talking about this dude to get five to ninety nine. No, this dude need one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty for what he did, and didn't even give it a second thought. Mess him and this young lady's life up. He's only twenty two. She's twenty six. She's gone. He's gonna be hemmed up in jail somewhere. But, of course, going to jail, <laughs> he probably might get hemmed up. He might not know about jail, but he, he's going to find out. He's going to find out quick because some 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 in jail don't, you know, don't 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 like men that fucks with women or kids. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Come back at me for another video. I appreciate you guys listening. Don't forget to subscribe like share and all that other good stuff that you know that i appreciate you guys doing until next time everybody lockout men this is where the best conversation starts over here on the lockout men podcast show you want to get at me get at me 216-600-2090 holler at you later peace